Welcome back, and this is uh, our Fertinia Red Robin, thus called because of the um, lovely bright pinky red new growth that starts in the spring, around about, starts about March time, um, with really deep pink, pinky red flushes of new growth. Um, and then you can sometimes get flowers as well in the spring. Here's, um, might better put in a couple of photographs of what the flowers look like. But it's mostly grown for these, uh, it's mostly grown for these coloured leaves. And uh, we're doing this now in early July, so kind of midsummer, after that first vivid red flush of new growth has more or less finished. And we've got this kind of slightly more slightly more bronzy red um, growth in fact I just noticed on here if you can see them we've also got some aphids some black fly growing um, on this new growth so we decided that it's time for a, a haircut and we're going to basically dome cut over here and what we normally find is we then get a second flush of this um, of this new growth later later in the summer I sometimes do this in um, in March as well um, to encourage a really strong flush of new growth in the um, in the spring so about twice a year we can we twice a year we can we can do this before I start pruning I've got to just show you <laughs> our rather lovely rose isn't that gorgeous have a sniff if you want um, so that's one that you would have seen on previous videos that we prune in March and here we are in uh, early July and it's just looking fantastic. Okay, so we're going to cut off the top, I would say 15, 20% of this plant and I'm um, going to cut really just above the node. So the node, as you've heard me say in the past, is where the, um, the leaf joins the stem see my thumb is pointing there where that uh, that area there where the leaf joins the stem that's a node and if you can look further up um, often it's at a node that you'll you'll get new shoots coming off from the side so we want to encourage some new shoots from lower down so I'm just going to go in here and start to do that all the way around Fertinia is um, an increasingly popular shrub because it's, uh, because it's evergreen. So even in the depth of the winter, you will still have something to look at. It might just be green, green leaves. Um, gives you all, all year round color. I've seen some people grow it for a lovely hedge as well. Um, if you can see that shoot there, um, I'm going to cut just there and there's another side shoot there which is going to come out and just kind of give us a slightly wider show there. I might regret that but we'll see how it works out. I say I might regret it, it might, it might grow too wide but then if it does grow too wide we can just cut it back a little bit further the next time. So it's really kind of cutting back to the shape that you, that you want for your plant. And Rather than me waffling on here, I'm going to turn the camera off for a minute and uh, get on with the pruning and then show you how it looks when I'm, uh, when I'm finished. But you can see how we're, we're starting to get that dome shape uh, already. Now, before I go away, so there's no obvious um, node here, but I think just looking in here, just above my finger, there's a little knobbly bit there knobbly bit is a layman's term for potential bud so I'm going to just cut and see if we can get um, a new shoot from there okay see you in a minute and there we go <clears throat> just a I suppose five minutes one one cup of tea and a bit of pruning later and we've got that kind of nice rounded shape uh, we were looking for. There might be one or two little stragglers that I might need to just um, top off there. A 
you go, mate. Let's just take you back to the to the node. And I would expect that, um, where are we now? Early July, I would expect that by August and then September to have a nice uh, flush of new, new growth uh, to take us into the autumn. Um, and then we'll probably revisit this in the spring and give it another prune then. So that's Fatinia Red Robin. Great as a standalone shrub, lovely to contrast it with other colored shrubs. So you can see we've got that golden leafed um, choicier sun dance there, which looks lovely in the spring against the, um, the red, um, red new growth. And uh, just here you can see some of our lilies, um, which just need, I'll tie it up into there so that these guys come into flower. Um, well, they won't be long. You can see the flower buds there. And uh, you'll find on our channel plenty of videos about our different types of lilies that we grow. Well, there we go. Today's star was Ro Robinia Red Robin. Let's hear it for Red Robin. Yay!